So good morning, everybody. My name is Audrey. This is your first time in class with me. I hope you enjoy it. It's so much fun. Um, if you've been here before, we have a new perspective on my basement, right? So exciting. Um, right now, I just need a different view because we needed the wall today. Um, but you know, anything different is good. So as far as equipment goes, if you do have a mini band at home, um, you'll have the option to add this to a few exercises. Uh, a substitute would be like a physical therapy band, you know, those long ones that you can tie in knots. Um, and if you don't have either of those, do not fret. You can do all the exercises without it. Um, the only other equipment that you might need is either a wall. Um, this would be like an advanced version for several of our exercises and possibly a chair if you're taking like a middle option on some of our exercises. All right. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves warmed up. We're going to start with a shuffle side to side and with a reach. So we'll go shuffle, shuffle, reach, shuffle, shuffle, reach, okay? Shuffle, shuffle, reach, shuffle, shuffle, reach. Getting those feet moving, blood flowing. As we go through the workout today, make sure that you are choosing options that work for your body. If an exercise is new to you, maybe start with um, the level one exercise, okay? And as you come back for more, start taking more advanced options as your body feels ready. Especially important for you to do that since you're not in the same room as you. And I really don't want anybody to get hurt or to overexert themselves. All right. We're going to switch this to a jog forward and back. I'm going to turn this way. So we'll jog forward. And we'll jump back, forward, and back. Those arms pumping a little bit. All right. We're going to take a, a pause at the top of our mat, if using a mat or just a spot where you can walk out to a plank and come down, walk those hands out to a plank, walk them back in. You can bend your knees to get down. No need to have them be straight, not all of us are that flexible. Warming up the shoulders, warming up the core. You can walk these out slow just to get at your own pace. Give me one more. Stand it up. We're going to do that shuffle, shuffle, reach. So shuffle, shuffle, reach. Shuffle, shuffle, reach. One side and then the other. And again, you need to slow and get these down. Don't try to do so. All right, let's jog it forward and back. Okay, jogging forward, jogging back, forward and back. You can always substitute this with a march, with a march forward and a march back, okay? <clears throat> Maybe one more, and then we're going to do those plank walkouts, okay? So coming down to the floor, walking it up, walking it back up. Give me one more. All right, we're good. Stand it up. Just side in a jogging place. You just give me a step, touch, side to side. While I talk about what we're going to be doing today. <clears throat> so today we're doing a kind of a five, four, three, two, one workout. And those numbers stand for minutes, okay? 
So in our first set is going to be five minutes of exercises. The exercise will change every minute. So you get one exercise for one minute. For some of these exercises, that's kind of an intense minute, okay? Uh, for example, we'll be doing a push-up for one minute on one of these. Feel free to take breaks. You know, if you need to come to your knees, take a few deep breaths, give your arms a little pep talk and come back, that's fine, okay? Try and pace yourself. Um, when we get to the next minute, I'll let you know what it is a little bit ahead of time, and we'll head into it. At the end of that first five-minute block, we get a one-minute break to kind of calm our bodies down, um, <laughs> feel a little bit refreshed and ready to take on a new one. The next one will be a four-minute block with new exercises every minute, one-minute break, three-minute block, one-minute break, two-minute block, one-minute break, one-minute block, one-minute break, okay? And then at that point, we're going to take it backwards. We'll start with the one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute. Okay? It's going to be fun. Okay. So our first round, our first exercise is going to be four imaginary tire runs. So imagine you have tires. You can decide how big they are, how tall they are, how far apart. We're going to take a one, two, three, four, jog it back. We imagine the tires, they disappear after you've jumped around. Okay? All right, so that is minute one. On your mark, get set, go. Four, jogs forward, jog it back. Four, leaps forward, and jog it back. Leap, leap, leap. Like I said, you decide how intense this is, how fast you're taking it. You can really sprint through it, okay? Take it in a nice, moderate pace. Whatever well, thing you can hold up for about a minute. We're halfway there. <laughs> 15 seconds. I'm going to start talking to you about the next exercise. You guys stay here, okay? So our next exercise is going to be a pipe push-up. You can do regular push-ups. You can also come to a pipe on the floor right here okay you can use a chair all right come join me in the push-up okay if you're using a chair you're right here if you want something even taller i can go off of my desk all right with feet up here butt is up coming down it's kind of a progression towards being able to do a handstand push-up okay this is one where you might want to do like you know, say 10 reps, take a breather. Halfway through this minute. So let's break the zine down. 15 seconds. I'm going to talk to you about the next exercise. Okay? Keep doing this. Exercise is going to be a wall sit variation. You're sitting into a wall sit, and advanced option is going to be taking one leg, extending it, one leg, and extending it. Come join me here. Sink down into that wall sit. You want to try that extension. Lift the foot, lift the foot, really grounding that remaining foot into the floor. A minute is a long time. You need to come back to center. Stop doing those legs extensions. If you were here all along, you need to stand up, feel free to. Halfway. Hang in here. Fifteen seconds. I'm going to talk to you about what's next. The next thing is going to be a burpee variation. So we're going to be cutting down, jumping or stepping those feet back, okay? Optional push-up, bringing it in. And at the top, we're going to do four fast feet. One, two, three, four. Join me here, okay? All right. So coming down, if you need to, you can step it out. You can drop to the knees for that push-up or cut it out entirely. You can walk those feet or jump them in. And then give me the four football runs at the top, okay? All right. Choose your option. Get into a little groove here. Okay. 
15 seconds. I'm gonna talk to you about the next one, keep going. We're gonna be doing a monster walk. So, this monster walk, come down into a squat, okay? You're gonna be stepping forward like this and walking it back, okay? If you have a band, feel free to add the band. Join me with this one. With the band. Above the knees is a little easier. Below the knees is a little harder. Dig into that squat. Walk forward. And walk it back. Good news. The last minute on this first set. And then we get a break, okay? Try to keep that squat low. If at any point you do need to come up, just take that tiny little break. We're over halfway. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it on up. Grab a sip of water. Try and take some nice deep breaths to slow that heart rate down. Keep those feet moving a little bit. And as I said, try and take some deep breaths. Either in and out. In and out. Kind of slow the heart rate in a little bit. Try and get oxygen out to all those muscles that are working so hard. All right. And if at any point anybody has like a question that they need to address, Feel free to unmute yourselves and shout it out. All right, we're going to get started on our next set. This one is a four-minute set. We're going to start with an imaginary agility ladder. So an agility ladder, you have the rungs here on the ground. We're going to set in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Then we'll reverse it back, okay? Here we go. Taking it out and in, and then backwards. You can take this slow. You can speed it up. Is you're not very likely to trip over the, uh, the rungs. Out and in. Over halfway. Fifteen seconds. I'm going to start talking to you about the next one. You guys keep going. Our next one is going to be a plank variation. I'm going to come to a plank either low or high. I'm going to do a kick up with the leg. This is one you can add a band to if you want to make it more difficult. All right. Come join me in this plank. You can come low on the elbows or high here. Just try and keep that butt low through the entire move as best you can. Kind of take nice deep breaths. Remember, get plank form. Try to have the shoulders over. If you're on your elbows, over the elbows. If you're up high, over the wrists. Hips are square. Over halfway. And in here. 15 seconds. Take rest as you need them. You keep going. I'm going to show you our next one. This one is going to be another burpee variation. It's a broad jump burpee. So we take a big jump, come down to the ground, jump those feet out, optional push up, bring it up, okay? Jog it back. All right, join me here. I'm going to show you a modification as we do this, okay? If jumping isn't great, take a nice big step forward, forward, come down, step it out, out, drop to the knees for the push up, come up. Jog it back, okay? Do what you can. Jump and out. Burn halfway there. All right. 
right, you guys keep going. I'm going to show you the next one. It's going to be a crunch variation. Advance. We're going to lay down, feet up the wall. Middle. I'm going to grab a chair and put the legs right here. Okay. Basic would be to just do crunches on the ground. All right, join me here. I'm going to scooch my butt all the way to that wall. I'm going to reach for my toes. I want to keep my neck as relaxed as possible off of that chest. Nice big space. There we go. This is exercise four on this one. Should you have a break coming up? In here. If you need to, you can bring those hands behind the head to gently cradle it. If you feel like you're straining your neck, really make the abs be your primary mover here. The rest of the body is warm to the ride. You have five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Woo! We get a break. Catch your breath. We're going to be standing up just to keep those feet moving, okay? So try to keep those deep breaths. Grab a sip of water if you need one. The next one is just three exercises, three minutes, okay? So get shorter this direction. Then when we bring it back to the second time, it gets longer every time. But it's okay. We can do it. Gonna deep breath in and out, in and out. Keep those feet moving. I'm gonna show you our first exercise here. We're gonna do a plank walkout, okay? Um, we're gonna do it as fast as you can. We did plank walkouts in the warm up, so they'll come out. Bring it in. We're gonna jog forward, we're gonna jog back, walk it out, walk it in, okay? Take it slow if you need to. Here we go. Block it up. And jog it forward. And back. If you need to march this, so jogging it, or block it, and slow down the plank. Take breaks if you need them. We're halfway through this one. Fifteen more seconds. I'm going to show you our next one. Keep going though. For our next one, coming down to the floor for Superman. You're going to be lifting up into Superman, pulling the arms down to shoulders, back up and down. This is one. Use that band around the wrist for. Okay. All right. Come down to the floor with me. Okay. Let's lift up, pull, we get back up and down. Try and keep your eyes. On the floor, that'll help keep your neck in line. You're less likely to tweak it. If you're new to Superman, you can just do a regular Superman without the pole. You can also do an alternating Superman with opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? Over halfway. All right, 10 seconds, you keep going. I'm gonna show you our next one. Our next one's gonna be a glute bridge variation, okay? Our regular glute bridge, knees are back, feet are on the floor, we lift up and we squeeze. You can also take feet to a chair, or if you want our highest option, bring the feet to the wall. All right, join me here. We're gonna lower, lift and squeeze. Lower, lift and squeeze. If you wanna make this a little more difficult, you can do a single leg, that can be done on the floor, on a chair, on the wall. Just choose like a number, like say 10 reps or eight reps or something. When you've done those, switch. Or you could even do a single each leg and then switch. So one side, then the other. This is the last exercise in our three minute set. Coming on to that break in about 20 seconds. Wanna keep 
your shoulder blades on the floor during this move. Yeah, upper back too. Seven seconds. And done. All right, take that break. Get a sip of water. Try and calm your breathing down a little bit. Okay. We have a two minute set and a one minute set. Hang in here with me. So just two exercises on this next one. I'll tell you what they both are. The first one is gonna be a jog variation. We're gonna do four singles. We go one, two, three, four, two doubles. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, and two. Okay. So four singles, hop on one foot twice, hop on the other foot twice. Okay. If the hopping is too much on that one foot, just jog for me for the entire minute. Okay. The second exercise is gonna be a tricep dip. This can be done on the floor with the fingers facing towards the feet. It can be done with a chair. Okay, or like a coffee table where the fingers are coming over the edge. Okay, all right, let's start with that four jogs, two singles. One, two, three, four, double and double. One, two, three, four, double and double. Feel free to speed it up if you need to or want to. It's all about doing what feels like it's pushing you. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Speeding right up here a little bit at the end. Three, two, and one. All right, tricep dips. I'm gonna do mine on the chair. If you're using the chair, bent knees. A little easier. Straight legs are a little harder. If you want to take it up a notch, you can always do a tricep dip, kick, tricep dip, kick. You can also do a single leg, okay? Whatever you're doing, try and keep your back nice and close to that chair. You can also be down on the floor as I demonstrated before, okay? Halfway. You need to take a break from the top sit. Shake out those arms. Come back for me. Okay? Hang in here. 15 seconds. It's a long time to do tricep dips. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Roll those wrists. Shake it out. Nice deep breath in and out. In and out. I'm going to start talking to you about this final exercise, the one that we do for one minute. Okay? So, this one is going to be a climber variation. So, you could do a mountain climber on the floor right here. He's coming under. You can actually use the chair to make it either easier or harder. Hands on the chair is a little bit easier. Hands on the floor, feet on the chair, a little harder. And finally, our most difficult one uses the wall, okay? So you'll come down, you'll walk your feet up that wall, okay? Try to make a nice plank, getting those shoulders under the, uh, shoulders over the wrist as best you can, and bring those knees under, okay? All right, choose your option and join me. Here we go. One side and then the other. Tuck my shirt in. You can speed it up if you're feeling it. You can also keep it nice, steady. Keep breathing. Halfway. I'm breathing. 15 seconds. 10. Four, three, two, 
Okay, and one. You need two. Circle those wrists. Circle them that way. Shake it out. All right. Try and calm your breath down. So then we're gonna build starting from one. Okay, you know all the exercises now, for better or worse. <laughs> but you can get through them. Take things at your own pace. Take those breaks if you need them. I'm gonna give us a slightly longer break. Right now, about a minute and a half. Grab a sip of water, catch your breath, give yourself a little pep talk about how you can do this. You can. You can do this. You can modify anything to make it doable for that minute. Even if it's saying I'm gonna do 10 reps of something and then take two deep breaths, okay? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> so you'll just ask a very important question. We are starting with the last exercise that we did, which means we are doing that mountain climber again. Yay! <laughs> but you also get to get it out of the way, okay? So if you need to move to a different option than the one you just did, maybe take it down a level, please do. We're going to start it in five, four, three, two, and go. I'm going to walk my feet up. on the chair or on the floor. Get up, keep it nice and steady. Let's have my shirt on. Should be done right before we started. Way. Are on the wall, just make sure your hands are not too far away from that body. Walk them under you. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! But we're gonna get a break. That's a nice feature. Grab a sip of water if you need it. And getting ready for those four single jogs, two double jogs, and then those tricep dips, okay? I'm gonna be using my chair. Good group here this morning. Glad to have all of you. All right. I'm gonna get my little sweat towel, dab myself off. About 15 seconds before we get started on those four single jogs, two double jogs. Okay? Or just jogging if you don't feel like hopping on that one foot. Starting in five, four, three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, double, and double. Four singles, two doubles. Feel free to get those arms involved. Feel free to speed Almost halfway. 
Halfway. Deep breathing. 15 seconds. And you get another break. Go, 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 go. Three, two, and one. All right. Shake out those wrists. Get a sip of water if you need one. Towel off. If that's something you need in your life like me. And then try to take those deep breaths. Bring the heart rate down. In and out. In and out. All right, we have about 20 seconds. This one is where we do the plank walkout, walk it back, jog forward, jog back. The second one is Superman on the ground. We're gonna be adding that pull. You can add a band if you'd like. And the third one is the glute bridge. He can go on the floor, on the chair, or on the wall. All right, let's start with that plank walk forward. Walk it out, walk it back, jog it forward, jog it back. Almost halfway there on this one. Over halfway there. Slow it down if you need to. Speed it up if you have gas in your tank. Eight seconds. Two and one. Coming down to the mat for Superman. Add a band if you'd like. Lift up, pull the chest back up and down. You can also do regular Superman or even alternating. Where it's opposite arm and opposite leg. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Glute bridge, okay? Feet on the floor, feet on the chair, feet on the wall. You can take this to a single leg, if you'd like. Just come down and up. Shoulder blades, upper back, see on the floor. If you are doing single leg, make sure that you're switching at some point. We're halfway through. I'm doing mine by counting reps. We have about 12 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Stretch it out. And when you're ready, bring yourself back up to the top. This is our minute break. Just a sip of water. Take some nice deep breaths. Time flies 
though, right? Aren't all these minutes just like boom, boom, boom? Is that how we're all feeling? Yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all said yes. All right. On this next one, four exercises, four minutes. The first one is the imaginary agility ladder, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, and then bring it back with out, out, in, in. Next one will be a plank with a kick up, okay? The third one will be a broad jump burpee, jog it back. And the fourth one will be crunches, feet on the ground, feet on a chair, legs against the wall. All right, here we go. Imaginary agility ladder, out, out, in, in. And then bring it back. You can choose to take it slower. You can choose to speed it up. Keep breathing, keep moving. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. That plank kick up is next. That's one where you can add a band around the thighs if you'd like, or lower if you want to make it more difficult. Three, two, and one. Plank kick up. I'm gonna be coming to my forearms just because my wrists are getting a little tired from all the exercises we've been doing. Nice plank pose, lift and lower. If you're new to planks. You just hold the plank, or if you're used to doing it on your knees, you do knees to full extension. Knees all the way up, okay? You can modify it to work for your body today. Halfway. Keep breathing. Check your forearm every once in a while. Are you piping up too much? Are your, if you're on your forearms, are your shoulders over that elbow? 10 seconds. Next thing is that broad jump burpee. Five, four, three, two, and one. Standing it up. Taking that nice big jump down to the ground. Optional push up. You can come to your knees to the push up. Come up. Jog it back. And step this out instead of jumping it. Do what works for your body. Halfway. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right, stretch it out. Take some nice deep breaths. When you're ready, come up to the top for me. We get a one minute break and then we have that last five minutes, okay? Five minutes on, once those five minutes are over, we are done. We get to stretch it out, we get to pull it down, pull it down, then stretch it out. 
So, quick recap. So, 30 seconds. Um, we start with the imaginary tire runs where you're kind of jumping forward for four, jogging it back. Exercise two is a push up variation. I'm going to be doing a pike push up with my feet on my desk, and I'm piked up into that V. These can also be done on the floor or with a chair. If you have tired hamstrings, I feel like it's harder to do on the floor. Um, third exercise is the wall sit with the leg extension. Fourth, burpee fast feet. Fifth, monster walk. Okay, here we go. Tire runs. One, two, three, four. Jog it back. One, two, three, four. Jog it back. You decide how big of a jump you have to do. Maybe they're tall tires and you really have to come up and get into them. Maybe they're really wide. You have to keep that big wide hop. Fifteen seconds. Try to use those arms here. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Pike push ups, okay? Or just regular push ups. If you need push ups, you can come to those knees, do regular push ups. I'm going to bring my feet up, try to make myself almost into an L. breaks as you need them, when it can be a long time. Halfway. Hang in here. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, and ten. Ooh, that was tough. All right. Wall sit. Come to that wall. Sink down if you want. Add that leg lift. Okay. Try and keep the knees apart from each other. If a wall sit is pushing you enough, just hang in here. You need to stand up at any time. Take out those legs and come back. Please do so. If you're feeling like you really want to take it up, you can hold that leg extension. So we're halfway. We have about 20 seconds to go. More exercises. Ten seconds on this one. And sweat. Three, two, one. Or be fast feet, okay? Fast feet up at the top. Come down and out. Optional push up. Back up. Fast feet at the top. You can walk these out and cut out the push up. You need to push up from your knees. And slow it down. Now speed it up. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. Then we're on to our last exercise of the day. Three, two. One, monster walks. I'm gonna grab my band. Put around my legs. Float the knees easier. Float the knees harder. Go into a squat. Walk it forward. Walk it back. Forward and back. You can do this without a band. Just really sink down. Hold that squat.
Last 30 seconds. Sink down for me. So keep that chest raised. We're not folding over towards the floor. 15 seconds. We've got this. I'm literally like dripping sweat droplets under my mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. We got through that last five minute set. Good job. Grab a sip of water. You need one. Okay. Keep those feet moving. Gonna be standing if you're hopefully you didn't lay down. We're gonna do a step touch. We're gonna swing these arms side to side. In between panting breaths, you're gonna get a nice couple deep ones for me. In and out, in and out. Very good. Cross behind into a skater. Crossing and crossing nice and slow. We're cooling the body down. <clears throat> Breathing regular, the blood flow regular. All right, we're gonna start with a standing quad stretch, okay? You need to grab on the wall, grab on your wall for balance or chair. You're gonna grab a foot, pull it up, and keep that knee under that hip. on that breathing, slowing it down, release. Bring that other foot up, stand tall, knee under hip. And release. All right, we're gonna come and take a big step back with one foot, pressing that heel towards that floor. That front knee is gonna bend, and we're gonna kind of lean into it. We're going to bring an arm across the body. We're doing like three stretches at once here. Okay? So stretching out the arm, stretching out the calf, and stretching out this front hip a little bit. If you want, you can also circle that wrist. I wrist did a lot of hard work for us today with all of those plank variations. Just if you were up in a high plank. All right. Release. Bring the elbow up. Legs stay where they're at. We're bringing the elbow up. Grab it and gently pull, stretching out those triceps that we worked with those tricep dips. And release. Now bring that back leg forward. Take that other foot nice big step back, pressing through that heel. Find the balance. Once you've found the balance, bring that other arm across the body, pulling it from above the elbow. Add that wrist circle you like. Other direction. All right, keep the legs where they're at, but release that arm. Bring that elbow up. Grab the elbow and gently pull. And release. Very good. We're going to come down to the floor. Okay? Come have a seat with me. Bring those legs out in front. We're going to sit tall, arms overhead, hinge at the hips, reaching forward, reaching for shin, ankle, toes, whatever is in within your reach. If you're not particularly flexible, you can always grab like a towel or if you have a yoga strap, put it around those feet, help you kind of lean into it. Get up for me. We're going to bend the knee, cross it over, hug that knee into our chest. And if you'd like to add a little spinal twist, sit tall, take your hand behind, look over that shoulder. Back to center, let's do the other side, bring this down, hug this knee into your chest, sit tall, and if you wanna add that twist, take this hand behind, look over the shoulder, make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Rotating through that spine. All right, 
come back to center. We're gonna lay down on the ground, okay? We're gonna take one leg up in the air, grab the back of that leg, and gently pull it towards our chest, towards the chest, and we'll actually have to touch. I'm gonna add a little ankle circle just to kind of loosen up my ankle. Circle the other direction. Hold still and gently pull a little further. Now go ahead and bend that knee. Hug that knee towards your chest. We're gonna take that opposite hand, grab that knee, gently pull across the body while the other arm lays out onto the ground. Keeping the shoulder blades on the ground, rotating through the stretch, stretching through that hip and a little bit of the back. Bring this leg back to center, take this leg down to the ground. The other one's gonna come up into the air, go around the back of it, gently pull. If you want, add that ankle circle. Go the other way. Ankles do a lot of hard work for us that we don't always appreciate. Hold that ankle still, gently pull. Now bend that knee, hug that knee into your chest, towards your chest anyway. Take the opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. back to center, keep this knee here. Bring that other knee up. Hug both knees, okay? You can stay right here and add a rocking motion. If you want to take this deeper, you're welcome to bring the feet up and grab them and happy baby. Um, just do the stretch that feels good to you. Okay? Either hugging the knees or coming up to happy baby. Figure four, so release the knees or the feet. We're gonna cross the ankle over our opposite leg. Bring the hands through, one on each side, grab that bottom leg, and gently pull towards the chest. Release, cross the other ankle over the opposite side or the bottom leg and gently pull. Bring those feet to the floor, grab the backs of the legs and gently pull yourself up. You're going to sit in a comfortable position. I like to sit cross-legged. You're going to bring the hands and interlace the fingers. Push them away from us and bring them up overhead. I'm going to turn to the side for just a second. So what we're going to do is bring a round forward and then straighten up. Round forward and straighten up. Just getting a little bit of a stretch through the back, okay? Rounding forward, straightening up. Down forward, straighten up one more time. Now just reach up towards the ceiling. Deep breaths. Release the fingers, roll the wrists as they come down, go in the other direction, shake them out. All right, we're gonna end with a deep breath here. Just to calm our bodies down, get ready to head off into, for most of you, it's probably another work day at home. <laughs> for those of you braving the world, we need that extra deep breath especially, okay? All right, we're gonna inhale, arms up, exhale them down. Here we go, inhale up. Exhale down. All right, if there are more things that you need to stretch, feel free to keep stretching. Um, thank you for being here.